Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I find myself wondering whether that's the first time the words Mother Molly's Clap House have appeared on a screen in the Natural History Museum. <laughs> I have a feeling they may well be. Um, I am chief executive of a, an organisation called the Collections Trust. We're the national uh, standards organisation for, for museums and cultural organisations. Uh, we've been, um, well, we have a very simple belief, I think, in, in terms of all the work that we do uh, with the sector, which is quite simply that everybody everywhere should have the right to access, to benefit from, to engage with uh, our nation's cultural heritage. We've been uh, supporters of, of Proud Heritage and proud supporters of Proud Heritage almost since the inception uh, of the project. And I really am delighted today to see um, it reach the point of, of, of launch, to see it have, have come so far. There's really two reasons why we're, we're keen to support Proud Heritage. The first is because of its importance, obviously, to the LGBT community. Uh, the second, and perhaps most importantly from the point of view of my organisation, is for its importance for what it means uh, for the wider cultural sector. Our sector at the moment, museums, libraries, archives, are, are on a journey. Uh, they're going through a process of learning, and that process of learning is about becoming more open, more democratic, more ready uh, to have a conversation with people rather than simply present uh, a very narrow view of history and the way things work. We're also just now coming to the point of engaging with, with the potential uh, of new technology, and I, I really do have to applaud the achievement uh, in the creation of this site, which I think is, is beautifully designed uh, and, in fact, has some really exciting potential just from the very kind of brief site we've had of it so far. From the point of view of the Collections Trust, we think that a lot of the lessons... Uh, that are being learned by Proud Heritage and that have been learned in the process of, of putting together this initiative uh, answer questions that are being faced or are relevant to challenges that are being faced across the entire cultural sector. And that's one of the reasons why I've been particularly delighted uh, that Jack Gilbert, uh, as director of Proud Heritage, has agreed to become a member of my board of directors on the Collections Trust and, and that from henceforth Proud Heritage will be helping to inform the future development of standards uh, UK-wide and internationally uh, for museums, libraries and archives. And those standards are going to start building the infrastructure which is necessary uh, for the wider sector to start engaging with this work. I do believe we've got a long way left to go. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of people in the cultural sector who either through inertia or possibly for reasons of homophobia find this initiative difficult. Uh, and I wanted, as, uh, before I stepped down from the stage, to pay personal homage, in fact, to the dedication and commitment particularly of Jack, um, because I think the community as a whole owes him a debt of thanks. It hasn't been easy. There's been tremendous resistance, even in getting to this point, and it's only through his personal dedication that we're all here today and that the product is as good as it is. So, well done to Jack. I think the only other thing I would say is that uh, a huge congratulations not only to Jack but also to his board and to the many other people I know who have been involved in this initiative and taking it to this point. Our role from henceforth is to work with Proud Heritage to mainstream uh, the learning and, and to ensure that the behaviours, the understanding that Proud Heritage is generating is available across the entire industry, across the entire profession. Uh, so well done and we look forward to working with you over the next few years. Look forward to working with you. Thank you very much. Cheers.